When asked what are the most important things to know about anxiety and depression for older adults, here's what I would say. First is that while anxiety and depression are some of the most common mental health conditions among older adults, anxiety and depression are not normal with aging and really deserve to be investigated if older adults are demonstrating signs of anxiety and depression. We know that there are actually very good treatments for anxiety and depression. It can include a combination of medications like antidepressant medications and psychotherapies. And so it's really important if you're noticing signs and symptoms of anxiety and depression among older adults that you encourage the older adult to get checked out. Another important thing I would say about anxiety and depression is that when mental health conditions go unrecognized and untreated in older adults, it actually can have a huge impact on the health and well-being of the older adult, and not just psychological health and well-being, but physical health and well-being as well. This can result in worsening of medical problems, the need for more medications for their medical problems, longer hospital stays when somebody's medically hospitalized for a medical condition, more family strain because the caregiving needs are higher, more functional impairments, meaning that the person needs assistance with ADLs and IADLs like dressing and toileting or transportation, and then needless suffering and caregiver stress and strain. Finally, increased risk for suicide. So it's really important that if you suspect the person might be experiencing anxiety or depression, that you encourage them to get an evaluation with their primary care provider. Sometimes symptoms of anxiety and depression, especially in older adults, can be a symptom of a medical problem, can be a symptom of a medication side effect, can be a symptom of uh, medication interaction. So when you're taking multiple medications, how those medications interact, and so many other things that might actually be treated with medical intervention alone. If you're noticing changes in your older clients, encourage the older person to start with their primary care provider to make sure all of their medical health care needs are addressed. Hello there, I am Dr. Regina Kep. I'm a board certified clinical psychologist and the founder of the Center for Mental Health and Aging.